square one. Mm-hmm. You can't split yourself. Are you with me? Mm-hmm. So, which is why, and, and David read you my scriptures, go to John 13. <laughs> say, well, I, I know the brother prayed. <laughs> David read you uh, in John 13, uh, verse 34 and 35. He says, A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. And this is, of course, agape, charity. That, uh, that you also love one another. But this, by, by this love, all men uh, shall know you are my disciples, if you love one another. By this, by you offering in the love of God, declares you are the disciple of Jesus Christ. Mm. By your obedience, you declare you are the disciple of Jesus Christ. Anything else is going to look like the world. Mm. Now, we're in John 13, so we have an example of dying, of denying yourself. Let me read maybe a few verses at the beginning. Now before the feast of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father. Having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he was come from God and went to God, he rises from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet to wipe them with the towel therewith, wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and, and so forth. Now, look at all the things going on. He already knows this, this, this boy whose feet I'm about to wash is going to betray me. Mm-hmm. He's got betrayal in his midst. We also know there's unbelief in his midst because mm-hmm. when he was risen, they're like, he's risen? <laughs> so he's got all this stuff around him Yet he still loves them. He takes on what at that time was one of the lowest jobs to have in the city. The washing of, of a visitor's feet. When they came into the house, a servant would have to go bring a basin and wash feet. It's one of the lowest jobs you can have. They walked in sandals. You can step in a lot of things <laughs> in sandals. You're with me. Okay? Even just the dust is bad enough. Okay? So to wash feet, this is humiliating. Yet, our Lord the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, does it. Mm-hmm. Notice, he's get, this is both a physical example. Uh, I say this because there are some churches that actually repeat this. They have foot washing service. And I appreciate that. Okay? That's actually not... That, <laughs> when he said do this, he really was saying, watch feet. <laughs> he's saying, humble yourself to me and serve others. That's really what he's saying. <laughs> right? So, I laugh when they have foot washing service because, you know, I've been to some and, and, and people who... I hated me the day before washing my feet. It's like, well, you gave me tomorrow too, though. So, 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 so why are you washing my feet? See, they got into the act and not understanding what the reason behind it was. Mm-hmm. He's showing them physically love. Mm. That's why he ends this thing saying, love. That's what this whole chapter is about. I'm showing you love. I'm humbling myself and doing the dirtiest job in this town. That's because I love you. Mm. Now, there's a more reasons that we can get deeper. Of course, you know, a subset of these are going to be his leaders of the church. So he's also giving them another example now. Now, I know those Pharisees and the Sadducees do things a little differently. They want to be served. Not, not in the new Christian church. If, if you're the elder, you serve people. Are you with me? Mm-hmm. Instead of having to come to your house to wash your car, as some pastors do, you go to their house and wash their car. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine if some of the pastors on TV got them on a Saturday and went to wash? Some people, do, wow! <laughs> Not likely to happen, but praise God. Mm-hmm. If God is powerful, he, he, may change, he may change him anyway. This is an example of denying yourself, of dying. And I, you know, you die. Pride says no. Love says yes. Are we serving people based on this, unselfishly, unconditionally, or are we only serving in areas that we're comfortable in? A lot of times that's what we do. We serve in areas that are comfortable 
and we feel good. Well, I did this, and, I, and well, yeah, I got that, but what about this thing you didn't want to do over here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We tend to run from the things that make us uncomfortable, as opposed to, hmm, why does that make me uncomfortable? Mm -hmm. Might be some fear attached to it, might be whatever. There's something there, stronghold, some mindset that's against God, that this area of serving, you won't do. I remember at a former church, we, we had a call for prison ministry. And a bunch of folks attended the meeting. And most of those people raised their head and said, well, I want to serve, I just don't want to go to the prison. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> this, this is prison ministry. Yeah, I, can I serve some other way? But I don't want to go to the prison. Now, at that point, we didn't have that in that ministry. If you're in the prison ministry, you went into the prison. It's the prison ministry. But we sat there, well, praise God. I guess we could create something where they can serve and not go into the prison. And we did. We actually did. We found some things for those people to do, but it was kind of a surprise. Mm -hmm. I want to be in the prison ministry. I don't want to go into the prison. A little bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. But we dealt with it. <laughs> Love covers a multitude of sin. Mm -hmm. Right? We could have turned them away. Ha! Come back when you're ready. Right? That doesn't make any sense. The fact that they came to the meeting because they actually want to serve, the, the, there's some issues they got to deal with. So mm -hmm. we just prayed them through. Mm -hmm. Right? <clears throat> and actually help expand 